warmer than 56 degrees to me. I don't know. I know that uh, it's it's the uh, uh, coolest before sunrise, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> our, look, we reach <laughs> our cool low temperature right before. for the overnight is around sunrise. Is that where you're That's going? Where I was going? There but it is. Uh, yeah, it's a little that. warmer than that to me uh, though. Right now, 56. When I came in at 3 a.m., the observation was 60, and then the new observation here at 5 a.m. came at 56. So mm. it may be cooling back pretty much here in the last couple of uh, last hour or so. We're getting a good drop back. So still the potential for a few more degrees to lose this morning. 56 with the light winds for the morning. Visibility not bad. It was at seven miles earlier. I think it should be coming in about six miles at this point for the current observation. So uh, calm winds currently that dew point at 55, which means we probably won't drop off too many more degrees with that dew point snug right behind the air temperature. Satellite and radar showing the quiet conditions across the Ohio River Valley from the Great Lakes down through the Tennessee River Valley. Really nothing going on locally. Some overnight storms across the plains making it into Missouri. Not a problem for us. There is a cold front just to our northwest this morning. Kind of slow moving. We're not going to see it barely in today and push in too quickly. I think most of our day we're ahead of the front. Temperatures this afternoon topping out in the mid 80s. It's going to come through for our evening. And along it and out ahead of it, a couple of afternoon to evening thunderstorms possible. We quiet down behind the front for our overnight and tomorrow, partly cloudy skies on Saturday. Temperatures edge back just a few degrees. It's not too impressive of a front. We have highs on Saturday in the low 80s under partly cloudy skies. And we may see those dew points down just a couple of degrees. But in general, the humidity factor has not been too high for yesterday and I think it'll be fairly comfortable today as well as tomorrow. So a close look at our future cast at 11 a.m. this morning. Partly cloudy skies and dry. We're dry through our midday. I even think one and two o'clock more than likely dry. As we head towards our evening commute, a couple of those storms start to pop up. They'll move from northwest to southeast along the front. Most of us stay dry, so we're looking at about a 30% coverage, which means 70% of us stay dry. A few scattered storms still possible into our evening. Nothing's on the computer model at 9.30 tonight, but I think we still have the possibility. And then especially as we head towards midnight, we start to quiet down with just a couple of clouds for our overnight. Today's high temperature, 83 degrees, a few storms, and still warm today, 64 tonight. We dry out through our overnight, and by tomorrow, the high temperature on uh, Saturday at 81. Not as warm tomorrow. And dry with sunshine for Sunday at 85, so a touch warmer as we end our weekend. More thunderstorms expected on Monday, 77, and it looks like a good portion of next week. Dry with highs back in the 80s. Lisa? Thanks, Jen. 451, right?